Hi everyone, we're gonna make a winter sloth today. You're gonna to need a piece of white paper, pencil and an eraser, and anything that you would like to add color in. I'm gonna be using acrylic paints, so I have some colors poured out. I have white, brown, black, green, and blue for my sky. And then any color that you'd like for a hat or beanie, if you'd like to add that. And I have some brushes, paper towel, and water for that. But any materials will work for this. Color pencils, crayons, watercolors, any types of paint, all will work. Let's get started. I'm going to start in the middle of my paper from top to bottom and create a slight arch going across. This is going to be for my branch. I'm going to do the top of my branch. It could be the same width all the way across, or it could get a little wider on one side, like branches normally do. I'm going to make a nice oval for the head of my sloth right under my branch. It's touching the branch, so I'm going really light until I know I have a good size oval. And I can draw that in and you can erase any lines that you don't need. I will start from the side of my sloth's head and make a nice U shape that goes right up to the branch. Give yourself plenty of space right here because we're going to add arms and legs in here. When I touch the branch, I'm just gonna overlap it just a bit that's for the foot of my sloth. And let's create the arm. My sloth's arm is going to start just below where the head is. So not level with the head, just a little bit lower, closer to the back. And I'm going to curve upward. and create that same little bump going over my branch. That's for his hand. And continue the line down. And it will curve right into about the center of the head. I'm gonna repeat this shape for the back leg. So I'm gonna continue my back leg down and go right to touch where my front arm is. So now I have an arm and a leg on my sloth and his head. Let's erase the line inside of the little hands. If this was challenging enough, you could stop there with just the front arm and front leg. If you'd like to add in the back arm and leg, you can do that. So I'm gonna create a little line that's going from his arm up to the branch and from his head to the branch. We want it about the same width as this other arm. So this is going to be the back arm and his back leg. Creating the same thing. So starting from about the middle of the arm, middle of the leg and just go up and touch the branch. Let's make an oval shape on the face and right about middle of the head. His head is tilted, but about middle of the head, I'm gonna come down like a little V shape, almost like a little heart shape. And we can erase any lines we don't need. We can draw in these patches that sloths have for their eyes. So they're like little half ovals, one on each side. And I'm gonna draw an rounded upside down triangle shape. If you'd rather just draw an oval, you can do that. That's for the nose. And I'm gonna give him a little side smile. I'm gonna put in some small little circles in here for the eyes. And I'm also going to add in these long nails that sloths have. Almost looks like a small banana. Try not to draw them too close together because then it makes it really difficult to paint them or color them. So 
So those are for the front arm and leg. For the back arm and leg, I am going to draw just some small ones, like they're reaching over the branch and holding on to the branch from the other side. And I'll do that over the foot part as well. So notice those are much smaller back there because they're coming from the other side. Now, if you'd like to draw a hat, we can do that. You don't have to, it's completely optional. I'm gonna start by overlapping my head of the sloth. And from where that started and ended, I'm going to make a higher arch. So I'm making a shape that's higher than the head. It's overlapping the branch a bit and it's overlapping the forehead. So that whole thing is going to be my sloth beanie. I'm going to erase everything out inside of that. I'm going to add in details of the beanie once I paint it in. I'm not gonna draw anything else right now. So this is it for the whole drawing and we get to start painting now. So I'm gonna put away the pencil and the eraser. So I'm gonna be using acrylic paints. I have a few colors squeezed out. I have white, brown, I left a space in between. I have black, I have green, and I have whatever color you would like for your sky. I'm gonna use this turquoise and whatever color you would like for your beanie, I will be using some purple. So let's get started on the sky. You can paint in your sky however you would like. It could be all green like a forest. You can make it a jungle. I'm gonna be doing a winter sloth so I want to do a nice icy blue sky so I will start off with a really light blue close around the center of my sloth and then as I get further out to the corners I will go a little bit darker blue so I will start by getting a nice scoop of my white and moving it to a empty spot and I'm scraping it off of my brush and using some turquoise and I'll stir that in. Remember if you are using any other materials you can create the same effects just by doing lighter and darker colors or by the pressure you're putting on your crayon or color pencil or pastel. If you go soft it will be light, if you go hard it will be dark. So I'm gonna start just in the center going carefully around my sloth and I want to create like a nice big circular shape. Once most of the background is filled in, don't forget to paint in these little sections in between the arms and the legs. If you get any on your sloth, don't worry about that. If you're using acrylic, it's very easy to cover over. So now I'm going to get a little bit more of my turquoise and stir that in just so my color becomes a little darker. And I'm going to start creating a little bit of darker shading on my sky in these corners and go all the way up to the edges. Notice the direction that I'm pulling my brush. Anytime you run out of paint, just create a little bit more. and match the color that you had. So now my background is complete. I'm gonna wipe off my brush and clean it in my water. Get all of that paint out. I'm gonna mix up a really dark brown. So I'm gonna take some of my brown my brush is clean and dry. And I'm going to add a just a little tiny bit of black. I don't want my brown to turn black, but I do want it to be a darker color. And 
and just make sure that it looks much darker than your regular brown because we will be using both. So for right now, I'm going to use this dark brown and paint in my branch. You can create a branch that looks however you'd like. You can make it gray, you can make it green, or any other color you can think of. I'm just using my nice big brush here, getting it all filled in where the little nails are. If you're using acrylic, you can paint over them. Um, if you are using watercolor or crayon or color pencil, then you will want to go around them. And once I am done with that, I'm going to wipe off my brush and clean it and dry it. Make sure all the water gets out. And I'm going to use brown, my regular brown, and I'm going to paint my sloth. I'm going to skip over his face for now and just do my front arm and my front leg, all with regular brown. I'm going to get a smaller brush and use some of that dark brown that I had and I'm going to go right under my little arm and elbow shape here and just put some of that in and wipe off your brush and we're going to blend so taking your brush and just making these tiny little movements with your brush and it kind of mixes it in we don't want too much here this is just a shadow that we're creating if this Part is challenging you are welcome to skip this step I'm gonna wipe my brush after I put this brown it's right under my face and creating another little shadow and mix it in and if it's not mixing in well get a little bit more of your regular brown and use that on your brush and it will help mix it in so now I have a shadow from my face and I have a shadow from my arm on my belly I'm also going to use that dark brown and paint in just the bottom half of my back arm. And then I'm going to wipe my brush and switch over to my regular brown and fill that in. I will do the same thing on the back leg, starting off with my darker brown. And switch over to my regular brown. So now I have my body all filled in. I'm going to use my regular brown and paint around the face. So I'm skipping over that oval in the center of the face. And with my dark brown. One more step here with the browns. I am painting in those patches and I'm just gonna go over the eyes for now with my paint because the eyes will be black and I'll be able to paint that right over this dark brown. And clean and dry my brush. I'm going to make a new color. I'm going to take some white and just scoop it in its own little spot and a little bit of brown. Mix those together, the tiniest bit. And I want to make just like a cream color of white. So I don't want it to be pure white. I want it to be tinted a little bit. And that's going to be for 
this oval inside of the face. I'm going to go carefully around my eye patches. Notice I'm only using small amounts of paint. These are tiny areas. We don't need to use big blobs of paint or scoop our brush into paint. Just a little dip of our brush is plenty. And if any of the browns from anywhere mix into it, that's okay. I will also use this same color to paint in my little nails with a tiny brush. You can always use a color pencil or use a crayon or oil pastel to fill these parts in. And I will clean and dry my brush. Before I do the eyes and the nose and the mouth, I just want this area to dry. So I'm going to start working on my little beanie hat. I'm going to paint it in with purple. You can choose any color you want. Okay, and that's a small area too, so you don't need very much paint. And I used my small brush. I'm going to make these little flaps that kind of come down on the side just a little and have a little string. So I'm just really gently with my brush pulling to make a little string. And I'm going to make some little poofs at the very end of the string. I will also make a little poof on top of my hat. And now I'm going to make a lighter purple. This is a really quick little step that's optional. I'm just mixing purple and white together in a new space. And I'm going to go right over that top edge, right around the face with my purple. So right where the beanie touches the face. And I'm going to go right over my little poofs. Every time I'm dipping in a little bit more paint. And that just makes those stand out a little bit more. We can worry about details on the hat later once it dries. I'm going to clean and dry my brush again. I'm going to use the stick of my brush and plop in a black eyeball. So it makes a nice round circle. Your eyes can be as big as you'd like. I'm going to use the tip of my brush to make a nose. And with the tiniest brush you have, you can create a mouth. You can always use your pencil or a Sharpie later on, but I'm going to use my pencil and just draw in a mouth. So while the eyes are drying, because we're going to add a little white shine in the eyes once it's dry, but I'm going to work on some branches. This part is optional. You don't have to do any branches. I'm going to use my very dark brown. If you ran out, you can make more, but I'm gonna draw in some branches that are just reaching from the sides towards the center. So these are my little pine branches. They could come from any direction as long as they're touching the side, reaching towards the center. And I'm going to clean and dry that brush. I use some green and make little pine needles poking out from each branch. So on each side, it's just individual little lines. I'm using the tippy tip of the brush without pushing down. I'm going to get the tiniest dot of white paint, do a little shine in each eyeball. And I'm going to continue with that white 
and I'm going to add in some snow right on my branch. And this is optional as well. Notice I'm just kind of dabbing it on there, making it look like a little pile of snow. And I can do the same thing on some of my pine branches. You do want to make sure that they're dry before you do this. I'm just going along the brown center. You don't have to do it to every single one. You could take the stick of your brush and dip it in white and add little dots of snow falling down. Feel free to keep adding wintry things into your background if you'd like. I hope everyone enjoyed this lesson and see you next time. Bye.